Govardhan Sharma, Editor Newsband, Daily English Newspaper of Navi Mumbai. Today we have with us a well-known nutritionist and wellness coach. She is a certified diabetes educator and founder of Akanksha, the desire for wellness. She has just recently done her PhD research on reversal of type 2 diabetes. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome and introduce Dr. Bhavani Swaminathan. Hi, Bhavani. Hello, Vardha. How are you? I'm fine. And uh, Bhavani, actually, we are quite curious to know what exactly is diabetes reversal and is it really possible? Yeah, this was a big question mark when I started my uh, research topic. So people actually felt that how diabetes can be reversed. So this, well, this research is basically on type 2 diabetes. Let me be very you know, clear in my communication that type 2 diabetes can be reversed, not type 1. The researchers have not yet proven that type 1 can be reversed. So type 2 is the lifestyle disease, which uh, you know, for the adults, in, uh, in adults we find generally this type 2 diabetes. So this can actually be reversed, which I have proven uh, through my studies. Uh, how exactly do you know if it is a type 2 or a type 1 diabetes? See, type 1 is the juvenile diabetes. When the child is uh, declared that he is diabetic, so at the age of, you know, 5, 6, 7, 8 or 10, when the child is very small, you know, that time, uh, when we find that, uh, you know, the after doing the certain tests and all, when we come to know that he is diabetic, so that is called as type 1 diabetes. But type 2 diabetes is, you know, people because of faulty eating habit, because of wrong lifestyle and because of stress. So people develop this type 2 diabetes after a certain age. That so is there must be diabetes. quite a large segment of people who must be falling in this, uh, in this category. Yes, yes. And especially, uh, you know, in my way back in 1970s, there were only two medicines for uh, diabetes. And now we find there are so many medications which have come up and diabetes is growing like, you know, it's in India, especially it is, uh, I mean, it's like an epidemic in India. So uh, globally, we can find that type 2 diabetes is very common now, but specifically in India, the numbers are growing larger and larger day by day. What made you start this uh, topic or choose this topic and start this program? See, this is a very beautiful question which people generally ask me. Um, my actually source of inspiration was my mother-in-law and my sister because both of them are diabetic and uh, both suffer from the complications of diabetes that is diabetic retinopathy and uh, neuropathy. So I always wanted to do a research because they are taking medicines, they are taking insulin, but then it's been so many years that there is no improvement as such. It goes down, it comes up, it's all like all the time. They're not uh, getting rid of this problem. So I just thought of, you know, doing a research wherein I wanted to do, uh, to, I wanted to find out whether are there any certain other ways apart from medications by which we can actually prevent, we can manage and we can reverse type 2 diabetes. So that's how I started my research. Can you please tell us more about this? Huh, okay, so, so in this uh, particular research which we started, so my mentor is Dr. E. Swaminathan, so who guided me very nicely to, to, to the entire journey of this uh, reversal program. So here we adopted the three-dimensional approach. Uh, which was done by uh, our former president, Dr. Kalam, way back in 1990s. And he did it uh, for the heart patients uh, who had developed, you know, 98% of heart blockage was there. So, and uh, this three-dimensional approach is where we are looking into, uh, looking through three aspects, you know, one is uh, the diet, the pure vegetarian diet, which we also call it as Sattvic Ahar. And the second is the physical exercise. And the third and the most important thing is, which is called as psychoneurobics. So psychoneurobics is again a kind of meditation where we are uh, incorporating mudras, that is mudra therapy, color therapy, and sound therapy, which we call it as rang, ras, and nad. So we started with this three-dimensional approach, and then we included one more dimension in this particular study, and that was 
Raj Yoga meditation. So people who joined this program of diabetes reversal, so they did entire thing, you know, for six whole months, six months, they were following the diet, they were doing exercises with me, they were also uh, doing this group meditation that is psychoneurobics and later we started with the Raj Yoga meditation, which they continued. So then we started seeing in their reports that it became normal and uh, they started reversing their diabetes. Um. Why is this, I mean, why this is only for type 2 diabetes, although you have stated that before also, but I would like, I'm quite curious to know about this. Yeah. So this was because my research study, for my research study, I could take only one topic, right? So this, I took the diabetes topic, but the same mechanism can be, we can do it with a person who is hypertensive, who has got heart problem, uh, any lifestyle disease for that matter, it can be thyroid, PCOD, arthritis, anything. So if the same mechanism we can apply on any problem. Yeah. Uh, what challenges did you face when you started this? Yes, yes, that was a big challenge, you know, people because the, during the pandemic time, so when everything was online, so the first thing was how do I target my audience? Because only by sending messages on WhatsApp and how, like why a person should join, you know, when uh, this uh, diabetes reversal program, but by God's grace, you know, with, that was complete during that lockdown period when people did not have anything to do. So they just thought, you know, uh, we can uh, just try, give a try. What is it and all. So that way across, uh, like uh, all over through India, like, uh, like, you know, across India, I could find that people started joining uh, this uh, program and more than uh, 100, I mean, more than 150 participants joined initially. And then more of men were there. And uh, for men, you know, that's and people who are from in the higher positions in their organizations and all. So making them understand that you do psychoneurobics, you keep your fingers in this position, you're doing mutra. So for them, it was something, you know, how just by keeping fingers in a particular position, how I can, you know, reverse my diabetes. That was a big question for them. But slowly they started understanding the concept and then they started practicing. Sincerely, they uh, followed the diet. And then we... I mean, the overall sense of well-being, which they could uh, you know, feel. And then slowly the reports also started showing the difference. Uh, how long do you have to follow this to really get the result? Uh, yeah. Now, this depends on the person, like, uh, since how long he's diabetic. So, it's like, you know, 20 years, like my mother-in-law is suffering from the past 26 years. My sister, uh, 10 years back, she got. There are people who just were in the pre-diabetic, you know, uh, situation. Some people are three, four years. So number one is depending that how long you are diabetic. Second is how sincere, how sincerely you are putting your efforts. That also plays a very important role. So if it's been, you know, it's very long, it's like my mother-in-law, it's been 26 years. So it will for her and her age is also a big factor. So for her, it will take a little time. Now she is managing her diabetes. My sister is also managing her diabetes. But the reversal will take little more time because so many years they have been diabetic, right? But when you once you start following this, so minimum, let's say, you know, it's somewhere six months we need to give time to ourselves. So basically, you said uh, majority, I mean, if you give a uh, percentage wide, so higher percentage goes for diet uh, to control your diet. And then uh, other things follow. Is it like that? Um, yeah. See, of course, I always as a nutritionist say that uh, 75 to 80% is diet. So if your diet is good, then naturally you can reverse any disease. So number one is right, absolutely diet. And uh, that has to be absolutely sattvic diet, which is pure vegetarian diet. So number one is uh, diet. The second one is, of course, physical exercise. And third, it's a very important and challenging thing is the psychoneurobics part, which is because generally, you know, Varda, people say that when you tell them now you need to do meditation because for healing, that meditation has to be done. So there's a very common answer, the typical answer, which we get from people saying that, oh, no, I can't do meditation because when I sit for meditation, my mind starts thinking, I can't control my mind. So basically in this psychoneurobics, it's not controlling our mind. It is we are trying to heal our system. Say we are working on our pancreas. So we perform meditation in such a way that we are actually healing our pancreas. 
area. So it's a very subtle thing. So we are starting from the gross, the diet and the exercise. And then the third aspect is very subtle, which is the meditation psychoneurobics, where we actually heal our pancreas. And that's how we reverse. Uh, when we talk of diet, I mean, this is a question that we have asked even earlier, but again, for the viewers who would be watching us uh, this time, is to know when we talk about diet, is it, uh, you know, the general feeling is something that is not really very tasty that you have to eat is called a diet. So is it so? I always say this healthy is not boring. But actually, when you see the diet, uh, diet does not mean that you're going to starve or you're going to have only, you know, kadwa karelas and all the time. No, it's like, you know, number one is the recent nutrition researches, which we call it as nowadays, a very fancy word, chrononutrition. So this chrononutrition is what it's the biological clock, which we follow. So if you are eating your food at right time, so in Ayurveda also way back 5,000 years book, the textbook mentions that you have your food at right time. So there's a time for breakfast in Ayurveda, we call it as Vat, Pitta and Kaf. So when the Pitta is high, that is in the morning hours, nine o'clock to one o'clock, whatever food you eat that can be digested very easily. So if you're maintaining the timings that, I mean, all the problems will be sorted right from acidity to uh, gastric problem, to constipation, to the big, big, these lifestyle diseases. Number one, second is, we have to just, you know, uh, it's diet is not about starving. You eat everything, but eat in moderation. And secondly, the most important thing is have all the kind of, you know, seasonal vegetables and fruits because people have forgotten that what is seasonal food. When you go to the mall, you'll find that watermelon is available all through the year, though the season is only summer. So people don't realize that during winter, we should not be eating watermelon. So that is something, you know, where we can say that the root cause of all the lifestyle diseases is our stomach. You're not eating your food correctly. So that's what my belief is. Healthy is not boring. <laughs> and... Um... But again, as you said, it is basically the timing uh, that is more important. Yes. But again, in uh, today's lifestyle, when everybody is having a very, leading a very hectic lifestyle, of course, uh, barring the pandemic when people were working from home. But even then, uh, it was quite hectic uh, because they had to work from home. But the timing is something which is like a biggest factor for almost, I think, everyone. So how would you advise? I mean, how can we improve on that? See, I don't think timing is a big challenge because, you know, people say that I'm very busy, but actually when you think, you know, you sort out yourself, you'll find that you're not that busy because you need to, when you feel that your health is important. So naturally you give a lot, you need to give a lot of importance to health. So when it comes to eating timings, the very simple thing, what I feel, you know, uh, even uh, you might have seen the celebrities, there are some of the celebrities who take daba from their home. So that's not something that we should be feeling ashamed of. I'm taking tiffin box from home. So carry all the food with you, whatever, you know, the simple chapati and good is also a good option. If you are not able to prepare anything, so roti and good is also a good combination. Jaggery is very good. You can take even the chav, rice and the vegetable or rice and dal. You carry all the simple food which we prepare at home. If you carry with yourself, in the office hours, you know, when you are busy, I know that people are busy, but you have to take out that time and you have to eat your food. So that's one thing is all about discipline. So if you're disciplined, now nobody can stop you. Okay, you can't say that. Okay, no, no. Because see, it's a matter of choice. If I'm taking care of myself, naturally, I'm not going to spend much money on my medications and other treatments. So this is basically chosen people who stay awake late night because of their office work and they work with other countries, you know, where they need to uh, keep themselves awake whole night and all. For them, it's a challenge. I understand. But still, we can work out and we can find solution where we can actually take care of our health. Uh, Bhavani, what message would you like to give to the viewers? Uh, my uh, message is, please do not neglect your health. Because health is something, I believe that health is an investment. We invest so much in our buying a house, buying a property and everything. But then we are not investing in our health. 
So remember that health is something, if you have good health, then you can enjoy all your property. But if you do not have a good health, then no matter you have so much of properties, you will not be able to enjoy. So always take care of your health. Uh, eat food on time. Do not give the excuse that I don't have time. You have to take out time because it's a matter of choice. So if I want to, तो वक्त निकाल के मैं खा सकती हूँ या खा सकता हूँ वी के नॉट गिव एनी एक्सक्यूज सो इफ यू टेक जस्ट एंड एक्सरसाइजिंग इज समथिंग यू नो इन अ डे जस्ट फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी मिनट्स इफ यू एक्सरसाइज चलो इफ यू डोंट गेट टाइम टू एक्सरसाइज इन द ऑफिस इट सेल्फ यू कैन स्ट्रेच योर सेल्फ फॉर टू मिनट्स यू कैन वॉक फॉरवर्ड एंड बैकवर्ड बिकॉज वर्ल्ड हेल्थ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन से इज दैट सिटिंग इज अ न्यू काइंड ऑफ स्मोकिंग सो स्मोकिंग से वॉट एवर जिसको हम कहते हैं ना हानि होती है हमारे शरीर को उससे भी ज्यादा जितने लोग बैठे रहते हैं उनको ये हानि होती है सो ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर दैट बी एक्टिव इन योर प्लेस यू जस्ट स्ट्रेच योर सेल्फ वॉक टेन स्टेप्स फॉरवर्ड वॉक यू नो टेन स्टेप्स बैकवर्ड दीज आर द स्मॉल स्मॉल थिंग्स फॉर हेल्थ यू नीड नॉट गो फॉर यू नो रन फॉर फाइव और टेन किलोमीटर्स डू अ क्रैश डाइटिंग नो सिंपल फूड यू ईट ऑन टाइम just 10 to 15 minutes 30 minutes every day you do a little bit of pranayam and exercise finish you can maintain your health thank you so much bhavani for giving us your time and the viewers please stay safe stay healthy thank you bhavani thank you thank you so much varda thank you news fan bye thank you